We have the new moon at 23 degrees of Leo happening on August 16th at 2.37 a.m. Pacific, which is 5.37 a.m. Eastern. Check your local time to see when this lunar event's occurring for you. Welcome to the second new moon for the summer of 2023 lunar sessions. And on an energetic level, this moon is mixed bag. There's definitely some transits that are harmonious, but we are dealing with some complex transits during this lunar event. I feel like the last three moons in Leo, new moons in Leo, over the last three years have been particularly rough compared to what they can be. On top of the fact that Venus happens to be retrograde at this time in the sign of Leo and is going to participate in this Leo stellium, there's definitely some rough spots that are popping up around it, but we also have some bright spots as well. And interestingly, the vibes on the graph are mostly harmonious considering there are some complex transits going on during this lunar event. There will be a steady stream of ambitious energy and solitude, and solitude energy generally is not something you would associate with Leo, but because of the transits that are going on throughout this week, it could pop up. At the same time, it does have a positive effect in a lot of ways because it can help us take the time out to do things on our own, take care of business that we need to take care of, take care of goals that need to be looked over. But overall, it could be a time to cut out any unnecessary distractions so that way you can get to the next level with whatever your aspirations are. Especially with that ambitious energy being present, that's really going to give us that push we need to get things going. Going. Also, there's good luck energy that's going to be present all the way up until the 17th. It'll taper off and become more of a minimal sort of energy because we do have some low amounts of energies that are popping up, low grade energies that are popping up. But with this good luck energy, we might stumble into some fortunate moments. We might stumble into some fortunate opportunities. Also, because this is a new moon, this may give us a good kickstart that we need that puts us on a fortunate path to whatever we're trying to achieve over this next six months mentioned before, there are some lower grade energies popping up. Generally, when we have these, it's more so feelings that we're experiencing in the background, stuff that we may not be 100% aware of, or we're just ignoring, or we're too busy to even notice it. And some of this is popping up in terms of emotional sensitivity. Some of it is popping up with a bit of social energy, and that social energy, it could be at a minimum where we're just passively interacting with people. And there is a smidge of mental energy, so we could be on and off in our heads about what our next steps are. Are. And speaking of steps, new moons are about new beginnings. It's when we start something fresh in the sign associated with the lunar cycle. Through this, we take on the positive attributes of that zodiac sign. So that way, when we get to the full moon in that exact same sign, we can look at our progress and see how far we've come, if any of our intentions have come to fruition, what's working, what's ready to go, and what's no longer serving us in this energy. So think about where you'd like to see yourself by January 24th of 2024. What sort of positive Leo qualities would you like to bring forth into your life? Are you looking for ways to express yourself more? In other words, are you looking to articulate yourself more? Are you looking to be more poignant in the way you speak, in the way you should display your personality? Are you wanting to come off with more panache and more flair? Because sometimes for some people, that's a big goal. There are some people that are more introverted than most. And then there are some people who have spent some time going in themselves meaning they've kind of withdrawn, meaning they've kind of shrunken in some ways when it comes down to their personality due to various different circumstances. And if you're in one of those categories, this could be a time where you're ready to express more. This could be a time where you're ready to give off the more vibrant parts of your personality. And if this isn't verbal or being more animated in the way you express, this could have a lot to do with your creativity as well. Leo represents creative self-expression, and sometimes that creative self-expression can be your Self, but other times it could pour into art, it can pour into writing, it can pour into photography and other forms of expression, other forms of showing off your unique sets of skills. So this could be a phase where you're wanting to develop ways to make that come out more. And speaking of that, are you wanting to become more courageous? In other words, are you wanting to become more self-assured? Are you wanting to become more confident, more bold in the way you approach things? Are you wanting to take more risk in life? Leo energy shows 
shows us the importance of having some gusto and going after the things that we want and also doing it with confidence, doing it with flair, but most importantly, taking more chances because by not doing so, you're holding yourself back from a good life that you could be creating. This could also put you in a position to find ways to raise your standards. So this could be a phase to understand what it means to have more dignity for yourself. Some of that can come in the form of relationships. Some of that can come in the form of a job. Some of that can come in the form of living situations and other areas where you may feel as though you need to raise your standards. You need to have situations where the criteria for anything that's involved in your life, anyone who enters your life, any scenarios that come into your life have to be top notch. So if you're sick of settling for less, this could really truly be a time to raise your standards so that way you are getting nothing but the best. And speaking of standards, are you ready to stop taking a back seat to everything and everyone? Are you wanting to work on being overly modest because you're seeing the trappings in that? Are you ready to put yourself on display and stop blending in with the crowd? This falls in line with standards, but it also falls in line with expressing yourself. There are times in life where we dim our shine. Sometimes it's because of being self-conscious despite the fact that we happen to be talented. And then there are other times where it has a lot to do with the environment we're in. It has a lot to do with the people that we're surrounded by. Sometimes a real toxic thing that gets pushed in our society is not talking about our achievements, not talking about our talents. And obviously there is a fine line between talking about the stuff that you've obtained versus being very boastful and braggadocious. And this is, of course is not one of those things. It's not the latter part of it. It is not about being braggadocious. But this has a lot to do with not being afraid to put yourself out there, not being afraid to talk about the good things that are happening in your life, being unapologetic about your achievements, and also finding ways to stop blending in with others, finding ways to not allow fears to run your life where you're not putting yourself out there. Or again, when it comes to other people who are naysaying what you're doing or trying to put you down, so that way you're not putting yourself out there the way you should. And maybe it's not about achievements. Maybe we've been holding ourselves back from enjoying life overall. So is this a period where you're wanting to put yourself out there more in terms of fun, in terms of participating in leisure, in terms of socializing more, in terms of romance? Are you ready to add some positive drama to your life and a sense of theater? Because you're at a point where you feel done with living an opaque existence. So this could be a phase to gain a sense of aliveness. Let your hair down and soak up all that life has to offer. But whatever you're hoping to build in Leo energy, use this time to soak up this regal energy and step into your opulent and adventurous air. Let's look at these transits and see what we can expect from this lunar event. As a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps this channel grow. And if you'd like to support the work of this channel, you could do so by buying me a fresh cup of coffee. There's a link in the description box below. So yeah, this moon is making some interesting transits. It is definitely, it has a lot to do with the time of year that we're in and the distribution of the planets and then Venus being in retrograde and Mercury being in pre-shadow. It has some edge to it. Although the vibes on the graph were very harmonious, this moon does have a bit of kick to it. Considering all of the alignments that are going on. The sun is the chart ruler for this lunar event since it governs Leo. And of course, since this is a new moon, the sun and moon happen to be in a conjunction with one another. So any alignments the moon is making, the sun is also making as well. And they're participating in a Leo stellium with the sun, moon, and Venus. Also the asteroid Juno will be there. It's in zero degrees Leo. And also the black moon Lilith happens to be in Leo as well. This concentrated amount of Leo energy will feel committed to work on our goals. We'll feel motivated and encouraged to start this new chapter in our lives and have an extra push from these energies. Even despite Venus being in retrograde, one of the good things about this is it could help us go over something that we might miss before we start our new chapter chapter that needs to be examined by us. Anything that needs to be reimagined before we begin whatever we want to start needs to be looked at because of that Venus retrograde being in that area. The sun and moon are going to be connected to Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune in a way that may create some problematic moments when it comes down to impulsivity. So we will really need to be mindful about taking action right away on things. This is one of those moons where we'll feel keyed up. We'll feel very revved up. It has a high octane sort of vibe to it, especially with these squares that are going on with the sun and Uranus. 
So we might have to make sure our judgment is sound before acting on anything. And also be mindful of our tempers because there could be flare-ups in that area and we could feel easily agitated with some of these energies. One of the great things though about this is that hardcore energy that we're experiencing is excellent for getting shit done. And interestingly, Mars and Uranus happen to be in a supportive alignment with one another. So this may help push us through and hopefully make some practical choices when it comes down to something that we want to take a risk on. There's also a yacht occurring during this new moon, with the sun making a sextile to the south node and Neptune at the apex point. And for this reason, we may have some moments where we're realizing where we're self-sabotaging and what's holding us back from progress in life. This could also show us where we've been unrealistic when it comes down to the things we're wanting to achieve. So this could be a day of realizing that we need to work on breaking those patterns. That way we can have a fresh start that's not hindering by old problems and habits that hinder us from growth. The fixed modality will feel this lunar event more than others. Therefore, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius between 20 to 29 degrees of these placements. So if you have zodiac placements in these signs, whether it be planets in these signs, chart points in these signs, even asteroids in these signs, you'll feel this lunar event more than others. Anyway, I hope you all have the best new moon in Leo ever. Later and see you in the next episode.